Hi, my name is Liam and I'm a PhD student at NDARC and Research Officer at St Vincent's Hospital, Sydney. And I'll be presenting for you our protocol for Lisdexamphetamine for the management of acute methamphetamine withdrawal. This study was supported by NCRED and these are our conflicts of interest. Australasia has the highest rate of amphetamine dependence worldwide and in people who use methamphetamine, regular use has almost doubled in the past 10 years. Methamphetamine is the second most common drug of concern in Australian treatment settings, and abrupt cessation or reduction in use of methamphetamine can lead to characteristic withdrawal symptoms. Importantly, there is no evidence-based pharmacotherapy for the management of methamphetamine withdrawal. We know that ineffective treatment of withdrawal symptoms can lead to high rates of relapse, and a reduction in the withdrawal or craving severity can lead to better treatment outcomes. Agnes-like therapies, for example, dexamphetamine, have shown promise in the past, but they lack efficacy. Lisdexamphetamine is an inactive prodrug of dexamphetamine, meaning it is not psychoactive until it is absorbed into the bloodstream and metabolized into dexamphetamine. This means that lisdexamphetamine has a slower onset of action and lower peak dopamine concentrations than dexamphetamine, and this leads to lower abuse liability and less positive reinforcing effects. Lisdexamphetamine also cannot be diverted, and this makes it an ideal candidate medication. The aims of this study is to determine the safety and feasibility of delivering a five-day tapering dose regimen of lisdexamphetamine for the treatment of acute methamphetamine withdrawal, with secondary outcomes of acceptability, retention in care, changes in withdrawal and craving severity, and quality of sleep. To do this, we have designed an open-label, single-arm clinical trial of 15 people who were admitted to the hospital for acute methamphetamine withdrawal. All participants will receive a tapering dose of lisdexamphetamine, receiving 250 milligrams on day one, reducing by 50 milligrams per day until they receive 50 milligrams on day five. They will then be invited to stay for an additional two days of inpatient monitoring. All participants will be followed up weekly for three weeks post-discharge to account for any adverse events. This study will be the first study ever to investigate lisdexamphetamine for the management of acute methamphetamine withdrawal. If safe and feasible, the results from this study will inform the development of a fully powered RCT to test efficacy. And if effective, lisdexamphetamine has the potential to become the first pharmacotherapy for methamphetamine withdrawal. Finally, I would like to thank our wonderful study team. And if you need more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.